Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at sequences again, but this time dealing with piecewise explicit formulas. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we're talking about piecewise, this might be new for some of the people uh, listening. We're talking about piecewise. We're talking about um, it's like like subfunctions. It's like a function with subfunctions, if you will, and the subfunctions apply to certain uh, parts of uh, certain domains. Okay, um, so in, if I had to give you an example, this is what I'm talking about here. So this is going to be our example in this particular video. We're going to be looking at a of n equals uh, two n raised to the third power if n is odd and then our, our second piecewise function is going to be 5 n over 2 if n is even so what's happening here is this if my term if my term my n, n is for the term so if my term is odd I will use the first formula right here this guy right here if my term is even so 2 4 or 6 I will use this one right here. So you can see how I, I have a function here, but I have subfunction. In other words, which function I use depends on whether the counting number is even or if the counting number is odd. That affects the domain. So the domain for the first function is gonna be one, three, five, seven, etc. The domain for the second function here is gonna be two, four, six, eight, etc. like that. And so this is how we set this up. Now, having said that, why don't we go ahead and show you what it will look like. And so the thing is, is that with this kind of a sequence, you know, it's, it's just you're graphing it in a slightly different way. I mean, it's, it's the same process as, as using other functions, but it's in the context of a sequence. So if I'm doing A, oh, let's see here. How about this color? All right. So if I do A sub 1 here, now, so this is 1, so I'm going to use the odd. So I'm going to have the following numbers inside so 2 times 1 to the third power is just going to be 2 that's it and so now a sub 2 now this time is even so I'm going to use the second formula here that you can see and so I'm going to have 5 times 2 all that over 2 and that's going to equal 5 you can you can see how this is working out now and so here's a sub 3 this time is e uh, excuse me odd and so now we're going to have a, a 2 times 3 to the third power. Well, that's going to be 54 because 3 to the third is going to be 27, and 27 times 2 is going to be 54, like so. And then a 4 here, a sub 4. This time we're using even. And so what's going to happen is we're going to have 5 times 4 to over 2. So 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 divided by 2 is going to be 10 and our last one a sub 5 like so and this time we're doing odd so it's going to be 2 times 5 to the third power so 5 times 5 is 25 25 times 5 is 125 and 125 times 2 is 250 and so this is exp this is a, a sequence that, that uses a piecewise explicit formula and so it's not that complicated, but the thing is that you have to know when to when to use each uh, function as appropriate. And th this piecewise stuff, this is stuff you learn way back in like algebra, intermediate algebra, whatever. This is not something that's radically new, but we're applying it in the context of sequences. So there's not a whole lot to, to recap here. I kind of just did my recap there. So. I hope that you enjoyed this, this simple video. It was not that complicated. We're, we're moving at a slow pace here. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.